these might legitimately be some of the best tomatoes I've ever had. That's right! Okay. Because I grew them <laughs> from seed! Borderline emotional because I... What are you doing? Tomatoes! Wait, what's blinking? Tomato! What's the vibe? Are we like, are we like, welcome to Blue Ready? Or is it like, we're eating tomatoes and we're really fucking excited about it and we're gonna be normal? If being normal is on a zero and being extra bloom and grow energy is on a 10 i feel like we could sit between a five and six does that work for you i think i'm at a three if i'm being honest okay well tomatoes should we do that is this better yeah okay cheers Tomatoes bloom and grow, YouTube show. Plant friends, I'm borderline emotional right now because I have been waiting for this moment for since January, since before, here he goes with eating the tomatoes. I've been asking him to not eat the tomatoes and he won't. Okay. You can't have this many tomatoes before. Billy, I need to talk to my plant friends before we do the official taste test. Is that cool? I'm in, full, I'm in full five year old with a snack <laughs> right now. Here, you can have another one of these. Here, you I'm can have all of these, these while no, I talk. I'm good, I'm good, you talk. You I want got more? This. Oh, I got this, okay. I'm good. Um, so since like January when we moved to our last house, but even before that, Billy can eat an entire pound of cherry tomatoes if he wanted to. Cherry tomatoes are some of his favorite foods. More. Way more. <laughs> more. Way more. Um, you know how little a pound is? It's like <laughs> this many in your hand. <laughs> you have huge hands. Yes, but I, I can eat lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of tomatoes. Okay. I can eat both of these plates by myself without you, a problem. In one sitting. Mm -hmm. Billy loves cherry tomatoes. When we moved out of New York City, it was my dream to have my own garden so I could grow cherry tomatoes for my love, she my fiance, it. Billy. Did it. And I did it! Look at this bounty! Thank you. I did it and I did it from seed and I really feel really proud. This has been not the easiest growing season. We have had a surprise move in the middle of the growing season. So plants that started didn't make it. Some plants didn't transfer. The garden looked very different than what we thought it was going to look like when I started out planning what our original garden was gonna be in January. And I have to say, I have been visualizing these tomatoes since I have been nurturing these plants from seed. Are you still sneaking tomatoes? Hmm? I'm like having an emotional moment. I know, but you can't have me have, no. <sighs> this was never going to work the way that she wanted it to. <laughs> and, um, okay, so um, you have anyway, to go to my fine, level. fine. Long story short, I grew these tomatoes. I just want to say, to recap the journey of these tomatoes, mm -hmm. in our former house, mm -hmm. I started them from seed. Yes under grow lights. Mm -hmm. Then I moved them into my plant friend Melody's greenhouse. Then those tomatoes grew in her greenhouse. Then we potted, we, Melody and I decided to actually plant them at her house. So we planted them in her garden and we planted half in the greenhouse and half in the ground. I put a couple of um, grow bags full of them too. So these tomatoes have had many lives. And then we moved, we moved in the middle of the growing season. And I haven't been able to tend to them and prune to them as much as I've wanted to. But it's okay. But they're so, tomatoes and they're awesome because they're tomatoes. Yes. So um, I thought it would be fun to do a little live taste testing. We have six tomato varieties. Well, we have tomatoes and also my prize, tom uh, they're not tomatillos, they're husk cherries um, from Territorial Seed Company. So these are like the fortune cookie of tomato. You have to like <laughs> unwrap it um, every day. So the reason why I'm such a nut about this is because tomatoes are one of my favorite foods in the world. My mom, when I was like two years old, caught me sitting in a grocery cart, eating a beefsteak tomato like it was an apple. That's disgusting. Um, it was great. I just, I went, I hawed on it, it was great. Um, and I'm obsessed. I don't know why. They're like candy and these are ridiculous. And They're like nature's candy. I, I understand. Like, the, have you seen the marshmallow test where they walk out of the room to say, hey, if you don't eat this marshmallow kid, we'll give you two in 15 minutes and all the kids eat the marshmallow? <laughs> no. That's, that's, that's where what, I'm at right that's now. That's where you are right now. So, um, we're gonna do a live taste test for you today. Four things I grew from seed in partnership with Territorial Seed Company. My pineapple husk cherries, which, chef's kiss, these are so good. Those are a staple in our house now. We can never not have those. I knew it, I knew it when I saw it on the Territorial Seed them? catalog. Hell yeah, you could pickle them, all you right. can make salsas with them, you could do all sorts of stuff with them. Then I also grew the blush variety. So these are all cherry tomatoes, the blush variety, the indigo cherry drops, 
and Sweet Aperitif. So those are the Territorial Seed Company varieties that I grew from seed. And then I also took uh, Sun Golds, because Sun Golds are my personal favorite, that Melody grew in her garden. And then also um, Melody had a lot of Roma tomatoes. The Roma tomatoes came in first. Um, and they were, um, so they've been kind of ripening a little bit more. So I thought like we'd try them all. So Sun Golds I feel like are what a lot of people know. They're orange. The thing I like about Sun Gold is they're perfectly tasty. They're so good. I mean, they're savory. Yes. Yeah. No, I mean, they're good. They're delicious. Um, so Sun Golds are really good, but they're standard. You can buy them in cartons at the grocery store. Yeah. I'm really excited about the ones that I started from seed. So why don't we start with this blush varietal? Now, I want to say a few things about growing the blush varietal. So Billy has said, Bill, here, this is for you. Billy has taste tested this. I want this one. Okay. <laughs> I will grow this again purely because of the way it looks. This is the most gorgeous freaking tomato I have ever grown. It looks like freaking tie-dye, golden and pink tie-dye. This is And trippy. that's what blush it's really cool. is. It's like a mixture of, it's like sun gold but better. Um, and it's kind of like, um, I think it's like a mixture of like a sun gold and something red. I do have to say, it wasn't as vigorous of a grower as a couple of my other tomatoes. Um, oh. Not as many made it. Um, the plants, not as many of the plants made it, and we didn't get as much fruit. But I have to say, the fruit that we have is so gorgeous. This and is a. I have not tasted this yet. So this is a quality over quantity tomato. This is not something. I would just serve this raw. This is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Whoa. That okay. So. How would you describe this? Taste? I always hated TV, like like cooking shows and stuff like that when people eat something and it's like, this is incredible and you can't tell why. So hmm. it's almost like you took a tomato and like dipped it in like a, like a light soy sauce. It's, it's savory yeah. and incredible. And like the the skin is like peppery. I, it's, mm. that's one of the best things I've ever tasted. Um, I like the size too. Yeah. It's a nice size. I mean, it's an inch and a half long. Um, this is delicious. It's yeah, they're great. sweet and savory like a sun gold, but longer and prettier. It's like if you only grew up eating like your supermarket tomato. Yeah. And you this think you know level. what a tomato tastes like. Like this is more tomato than any tomato Amazing. Ever, that's ever tomato. So cool. And I would try growing these again because also my growing season this year was insane with all of my moves and lack of attention. So I would want to give blush another chance to like be way more productive. We're going to need to. So, okay, let's move over here. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, I love the look of the sweet aperitif tomato. I love tomatoes that grow like this. What is this called? Like in little clusters. Oh. I think they're so delicate and cute. I think for bruschetta, these would be really good tomatoes because um, you can cut them right in half and cook them up and make them up the way my mom likes. Like they're a very petite, small um, cherry tomato. May I have one? Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. All right, so a lot grassier, like, um. Yeah. Sort of like. I feel like this tastes more tomato-y. Well, more traditional, I'd say, but it's it's much higher acid. Yeah. Um, and like similar to like, if you've ever had a Campari tomato, it's like acid and then a little sweet. Um, this is a lot more acidic, but it's actually really, really bright. This would go, this would make a fantastic tomato sauce as like, as an additional tomato. Like you need something to have like the base of it. Romas. Yeah, you could use Romas, you could use, I mean, you could even use like canned tomatoes, but these are the ones that you can add to a tomato, like a canned tomato sauce that would make it taste like the or entire thing like, was homemade. Uh, in your pan, when you're making your breakfast, plop one of these in the pan. You need like three of those. To grill them up. Yeah. Those would be tasty. Okay, now let's do, so I was so curious about this, the indigo cherry drops. Those are these, the ones that have the purple bottom. Let's do the, the Romas first tops. and then go to those. Okay. So well, These were one of Melody's, the Romas. So the Romas are more of like a paste, like sauce type of tomato. But the thing with the Romas that were appealing is they were the first ones to ripen and come in. Like they grew so vigorously and oh my God. I mean, Melody has like 50 Roma tomatoes So right this now. is a great Roma tomato, but Right after the sweet aperitif tomato, it tastes like yeah, like monochromatic, just like tomato. Th this is 
what this tastes you like tomato think, sauce. What you think it? Yeah, what you think a yeah. tomato is. But it's um, it's very nice. I would pair that with um, the sweet aperitif tomatoes, yeah. and I would make a ballin' tomato sauce. Bomb sauce. Okay, so now I'm really excited to go into the indigo cherry tomato. This tomato is purple on top, red on bottom. It is more nutritious than other tomatoes because the purple has more antioxidants. That's what attracted me to this tomato and also the fact that it was purple. So a few things about growing this, they were some of the first to set fruit, but it takes them so long to ripen because when they come in, it's purple on the top and green on the bottom, and then you have to wait for it to ripen. So for that reason, I don't know if I would necessarily grow them again next season um, because I was kind of impatient. We absolutely are growing these again next season. They're so good. <laughs> no, really? seriously, like it's so... I've had okay. a, I've had what a few of these. Like in full disclosure, I've had a few of these. Um, they are easily one of my favorites because they're they they're sweet and then savory. Um, even more savory mm. than the blush. Ooh. Like they're like they're just it's it tastes like it has like flaky salt already on top of it. And Yum. We you... have an ongoing conversation in our house about salt on things, so this would be one that you wouldn't have that salt on. Yeah, or, or you, you, can you put wouldn't it on have if you salt. To. Fine. I like more salt than Billy, so I would probably <laughs> salt this and Billy wouldn't. But anyway, this is delicious. To me, this actually might be the tastiest. This actually might be my favorite. I think I take everything back about not growing it next year. <laughs> um, this is really delicious. It feels like it's the most multi faceted of the tomatoes. Yeah. And then look at the color on the inside of it. It's it's just it's I'm gonna reach can I reach? Yeah. It's really, really pretty. You can see it's, like it, did, like did yeah, it yeah, it's, it, you can okay. you can see like the the seeds just like that that two tone, the green and the red. It's just it's beautiful. That's a fun tomato. To um, eat. that's delicious, and I like that it's super nutritious too. You Here, it? you can finish it. Ow. Okay, last but not least, I feel like I found hidden treasure in these. I had tried these. I we did a whole video on planting these up. They grew prolifically. We have. I think 200 of these at Melody's house yet that haven't ripened. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of, I picked them a little early. They're a little small. They're supposed to kind of fill this whole lantern and then you pick them. But these lanterns were already yellow. All of the other ones are still white. Um, and I really wanted to include them in the oh, taste wow. test, so I picked them. So um, I love how little they are. I know that they're supposed to be bigger. But um, I had tried this at a farmer's market a couple of years ago, was like so blown away by what it was. I had never heard of it before. Pineapple husk, husk cherry. cherries. Um, they're like a relative of tomatillo and tomatoes. Oh my God. But I think they're as delicious as cherry tomatoes. I think that these literally taste like pineapple. It's it's like they, they have that, that it tastes, sweetness. It tastes like if a pineapple and a tomato had a baby, right? Yeah. They're very seedy. They have a lot of seeds in them. Yeah, but you I can also chew love right how you seeds. just like push it right through the little lantern. It's so cute. These are really And nice. I think maybe it wouldn't be as seedy once we let them grow because I did kind of pick them prematurely. This actually, these are so delicious and they're a little, they need to be a little bit more ripe. So I'm kind of excited to see what they taste like once they're ripe. You could put that in a fruit salad and be very happy. Mm -hmm. Like in place of like, you know mm -hmm. when you make a fruit salad and things like fall apart? That's so good. You can put that in a fruit salad in place of grapes. Putting grapes in a fruit salad is crazy. You put those in there instead and be good. So much better. You put, you you bite in and it's this like savory umami. It like pops. And then it chases you with this pineapple flavor. Oh yeah. my God, it's amazing. Oh, the sun's going down, so it's getting dark. Um, well, this is worth the wait. Thank you. I'm very happy. I'm the happiest girl right now. I'm the happiest gardener. It was an unpredictable season. Uh, we had a lot of, um, she grew me to, <laughs> thank you. A lot of unexpected hurdles, but I got you my tomatoes you did. by sheer blunt will. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was totally worth, it was totally worth it. I'm, I'm so excited. We have many more tomatoes coming. Um, the links to Territorial Seed Company are in the show notes in case you guys are interested. I've loved working with them. You should be um, interested. Growing tomatoes like this will change the way you think about tomatoes. And you'll make these, amazing things with them. Like I'm The gonna pineapple make, husk cherries, baby. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Okay, these, wait, so what was your favorite? The blush. 
You like the blush the, the most. Yeah, the, bl the blush then the then these guys. I think I liked the indigo cherries indigo the most. Cherries. I think you like the blush the most, but I think the both of us love these the most. I'm gonna make salsa out of the pineapple husk cherries. I'm gonna yeah, make an incredible tomato sauce out of these, and yeah. It's and then great. probably eat the rest of them by tomorrow. If I'm being honest with myself and with you, I'm probably just gonna eat them all. Realistically, that's 100% true. They're gonna be gone. Well, cheers to more growing seasons together. I'll grow you all the cherry tomatoes Thank next year, you. too. <laughs> and cheers to you, plant cheers. friends. Love you. Bye. Boom and grow YouTube show.